Okay, learners, welcome back to lesson 15, session two. How did the worksheet go? Did you get most of it? Remember, if there's any time that you've missed something, just pause and fix it, and then we'll remember that for next time. Okay, I, um, if you needed to, I hope you read through the example talking about how you multiply four times three to get an area of 12. Okay, in number one, you should have found that the length is seven and the width is six and had an answer of 42 square units. In number two, remember it always helps to draw your picture. I noticed right here when I labeled, I, I forgot to put inches. I can always add that later. There we go. So I've labeled my length and my width as eight and seven. Now to write my area, I always practice writing my equation so I remember it. So I wrote area equals length times width. And as a big kid, I can use A for area, L for length, and W for width. We're getting you ready for fourth grade. Okay, so my length is eight, so I substitute that in. My width is seven, so I substitute that in. And eight times seven is 56. Remember to work on those multiplication facts if you need to. You'll need those for fourth grade. Number three, a square has sides that are four centimeters long. Now, as I was doing this one, I had to remind myself what a square is and what I know about a square because I noticed that they only gave me the length of my square. Fortunately, I remembered, I drew a picture and I remembered that a square has all sides the same. So if the length is four, then I also know that the with this four. That's the cool thing about squares. All four sides are the same length. So area equals length times width. I substituted my length of four, my width of four, and I have 16. Okay, now remember, do you notice something wrong with mine? I'm missing my units. Make sure you put your units in. So if I have the answer of 16, I should be writing 16. And since I've multiplied two sides, I write square and it's centimeters. Remember I'm using CM for centimeters because that's the short way mathematicians write it. Okay, let's turn to page 324. Number four, write an equation to find the area of rectangle A, then write the area. It's important to keep practicing this equation so you remember it when you get to fourth grade. Remember our equation is if we take the length and we multiply it by the width, we get the area. So then I substituted my numbers in. My length is three, so I plug in three. My width is nine, so I plug in nine. And three times nine is 27. And make sure you have no naked numbers, 27 square units. Okay, number five. Number five, kind of the same thing. I have my rectangle. They told me the length is six, the width is five. I wrote my equation area equals length times width. I substituted my numbers in and I got an answer of 30 square centimeters. Check your work, fix it in if you need to. Number six, the area of my square. Now remember, we had to remember that a square, the length is the same thing as the width. So since they tell me the side is eight, that means all four sides are the same, but we only need the length and the width to find area. And I found 64 square centimeters. If you need to pause and write anything in that's missing. Same with number seven. I looked at my rectangle. I substituted my numbers in and I got 32 square units. Number eight, I had to think about this one. Lena draws a square with an area that is, oh, I read it too fast. Wow, okay, notice square. Did I draw squares? Do you notice that I've done something wrong? I read this way too quickly. So these cannot be good answers. Did anyone else make that mistake? See, it always pays to go back and check. Okay, now let's read this and do this one together. Hopefully you got the right answer. I wish we were in class and you could tell me how to do this one right. Okay, 
Lena draws a square. So I'm going to slow down and I'm going to draw a square with an area that is greater than the area of rectangle B. What was the area of rectangle B? That's right, 32. So this area is larger than 32, right? So I'm going to do a greater than. It is greater than 32. What are two possible side lengths of Lena's square? Hmm. So a number times a number has to be bigger. So a number times itself has to be bigger. Oh, so I don't want an equal sign. This has to be greater than 32. So what if I put five in there? Five times five is 25. Is that larger than 32? Nope. What if I put six in there? Six times six is 36. Is 36 greater than 32? It is. So I could have six as my sides. What's a number? I, another number I could have? Well, since six work, is seven gonna work? Let's try it. Seven times seven is 49. Is 49 greater than 32? It is. So I could have a square that's a seven by seven. Can you think of another one? What about 10? Could we do 10? 10 times 10 is 100. Is that greater than 32? It is. So I could draw a square with a 10 by 10 because that would be 100. Remember, this one's 49. Those are greater than 32. Hopefully, you've done this correctly. Um, good job. Pat yourself on the back if you did because you got it right and I got it wrong. But I went back and fixed my work because that's what mathematicians do. Okay, number nine. Pablo draws rectangle P. Here it is. He says that the area is greater than 50 square units. What could the unknown side length be? Explain. Okay, so I had to really study the picture and I noticed I don't know the width. I also looked at the problem again and he told me that the area is greater than 50. The area, this amount of space, is larger than 50. I also know that area is the same thing as length times width. So I substituted that in. Instead of finding area, I'm writing length times width. My length is six times my width. I have to find a number here so that it's bigger, it's greater than 50. So I already remember from up here, six times six is 36. If I put six in here, does that work? Six times six is 36. No, that doesn't work. What if I put seven? Six times seven is 42. Is 42 greater than 50? Nope. What if I put in 10? Six times 10 is 60. Is 60 greater than 50? You're right, it is. What's another number that will work? Did anyone try nine? Six times nine is 54. 54 is greater than 50. That works. Nice job. Okay, that is it for session two. If you need to go back and watch some parts or fix your paper, and I'll see you for session three.